Hi everyone. Thanks to Lisa Freeman, I figured out, or she told me how to film my videos without my camera falling, without me putting my arms in the way. And so we're going to do a quick test run. Wednesday, I did a, I did a shoebox swap at her house, and we did this cool technique that Patty Bennett is showing. And all I did was cut out circle from chipboard. You, I run it through my Big Shot. I put my paper in here and in your embossing folder. Put the chipboard on top and run it through. It shouldn't be hard to run through at all. It should actually run through where you feel like it's not going to catch. At least that's the way my machine is because it's so well used. And this is my sandwich. You're going to have to play with your sandwiches because a lot of people are telling me they just cannot get it to come out. But luckily I figured it out on my, with my Big Shot only because it's so well used it's pretty much uh, ready for a new one. But I'll show you this card in a moment only because I borrowed the stamp sets from Lori and forgot to stamp my stuff so you're going to see the actual card that I did but I'm going to show you this technique real quick. This is a half of a wreath and what I did for this card was I ran my embossing folder through and then I chopped off this much but you'll see why in the card and then I'm going to rip real fast I hope Oh, you know what? Now that YouTube has decided that your videos don't have to be a certain length of time. I don't know how long that's been only because I've only been on YouTube for not even a month now. So just correct me if I'm wrong. But real quick, you're going to rip. And it doesn't matter how good or bad because I have never seen a perfect wreath. Um, I'm sure they're out there but mine are never perfect. And then you're going to real take your do sponge dauber and I'm using Always Artichoke and I'm just going to lightly go over my flowers from the embossing die, embossing folder. Petals of plenty. I love this technique. Um, I made a really giant one which is on my blog right now and I use the large scallop oval, or yes, scat, no, sorry, circle. And then I used my colossal to cut out the center. It's kind of hard when you're cutting chipboard, um, but if you take your time, it's possible. And it's something you will keep for a while anyway. So, and then I flex the edges. And then I took my real red marker, oh, wrong side, and just colored the berries. And there you have that. I'm not going to color all of them. And this is the card I came out with. It's a window, or I actually wanted it to be a door, so a doorknob could be down here if you really want to put one on there. And then inside is the inside of your house, or anything and everything you want to put in there. The sky's the limit on this card, but the whole point is it looking like a door or a window with a wreath on it. Have a good day, guys.